Alright guys, welcome back to another painting tutorial, and uh, this is actually the first of five videos that you will see coming out in quick succession. Uh, I'm just going to do a one of the new Eldar Guardians, in this case a Storm Guardian, uh, from one from each of the main craft worlds. So this one is a Latok, the other videos will have the others in it, let's get started. So for the main color, I don't know, I have the wrong color here. The main color is blue on the Latok, but I'm going to start with the yellow. I'm going to use the Yand and yellow for this. And this is going to be for his uh, helmet and for his knee pads. So, uh, we've primed this guy with first Chaos Black Spray from Games Workshop. And then a Zenithal Spray of Wraithbone over the top of that. Applying this first because it's the lighter of the two colors, of the two main colors. And so if we make a mistake, our blue will just go right over the top of it. No problem. Do his knee pads here. And I use the Zenithal because it automatically shades our contrast paint for us. And so we don't even have to. Don't have to worry about shading as much. So, I'm going to let that dry, come back, and we'll do the blue. Alright, we're back with our yellow dry. And now, we're going to use ultramarine blue and do the main blue color on these guys. This is going to be pretty much everything on him except for the weapons and his plume on his helmet. Uh, we are going to come back in and paint some other details uh, on top of this blue, but uh, we're going to use a metallic paint for that, and so we don't need to worry about being careful. We just need to avoid the yellow. So just being careful, again, not to touch the yellow, and making sure to apply this uh, heavy enough that it goes on smoothly how we want it. So I'm just gonna do that on the rest of this armor. Uh, give it a quick, or let it dry for a quick second. Maybe help it along with a hair dryer, we'll see. And then come back and start in on the details. Alright, we're back and our blue is nice and dry. Now we're going to move on to the weapons, and for that we're going to do Skeleton Horde. These weapons are sometimes shown with like a sort of pale bone color. And so if we're sticking to contrast paint, then this is what we want. We're going to put this on a little bit thinner than we normally would, just so we get a lot of that primer color um, coming through. We're not Try, not trying to turn this primer brown, we're just trying to give it a, a light cream sort of color. Uh, we will do back, go come back again and do some couple details on the gun, but we can do well the gun in this one, but we can do the whole thing in this color because it is lighter than every other color we are going to use on it. Just make sure you do uh, sweeping strokes on. Uh, big flat areas like this chainsword here. That's how you get your contrast paint to lay smooth without uh, bubbling or uh, coffee staining. Just want to make sure to do that because we want to make it make the sword change this color, but we don't want to make it look splotchy. All right. Uh, so then we're going to go straight into our next color, which is going to be black. And so of course we're going to use black templar for that good shake. Uh, so the first thing that's going to be black is the plume here. Be very careful not to get any on the yellow. I'm actually going to do, I painted this part yellow earlier, this little part holding the plume, but I'm going to do it in black. There we go. Right, and then just a couple more details with this black. We're going to do the wrapping on the gun and the sword. There we 
go. Just barely see it here on the sword or on the gun. And then he's got a little like ribbon or something tied around his arm here. I'm just gonna do that in black as well. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I will come back and we will do the gems. All right, we're back. And in the break, I painted his face mask in with black because I realized I'm gonna do orange eyes and orange on yellow wouldn't look that great. So orange on black would make much more sense. So our next color is gonna be a non-contrast color. Gasp, shock, horror, I know. Plate mail metal. We're just going to paint in all the gems with this color and possibly a couple, couple other details as well. But certainly all the gems. Uh, this is to prepare them for the orange contrast that we're going to use on them. So I'm just going to go all over and find these gems. Uh, for the ones that have housings like this one, I'm painting that uh, silver as well. And that part will stay silver. Um, it won't get painted orange. So we're just going to do this everywhere. Uh, these things, well, let me get this gem, and then these things, these like buckles or whatever down here, I'm going to do them in silver, and they're going to stay silver. I'm just going to do them in silver. And then more gems here. There we go. Get the other side of those. Gem here. I'm not sure what this is exactly, but I'm gonna paint this in here as well. Kind of looks like it could be a power pack of some sort. So I'm gonna do that. Gem there. He's got more little buckle things right here. So I'm gonna grab those in silver. And then it's just the gems on the gun and the sword. Just a little down there, and then here, here, the little ones on the power pack for the weapon, or whatever that is, looks like a power pack to me. There we go, and then we're going to do the teeth of the chainsword in this cover. And the other side. Oh, and then the eyes, of course, the eyes. Just being careful not to run over onto the silver or onto the black. There we go. All right, so I'll let that silver dry and definitely help it along with the hair dryer. And we'll come back, add the orange, put some null oil on him, and we'll call him done. All right, we're back, and now we're gonna use some Griffhound orange. And just gonna put this all over the silver that we just did, except in a couple places. So right here, this gem, central gem, has a housing. So we're not gonna paint the housing orange. We're just gonna paint the gem itself. And then everywhere else, where I put a gem, we will just dab a little bit of orange on top. And you obviously could go more in depth with the. Uh, this paint job, but if you're just trying to pump out a bunch of guys to get your 10 points on the board, then this is a way to do it. And the great thing about a paint job like this is you can always come back and add to it later. There's absolutely nothing stopping you from coming back and doing a bunch of blends on him to really highlight them up or doing a bunch of edge highlights or painting over some of this stuff. You can do all sorts of stuff. Um, the contrast paint is thin so you can put several layers right over the top of it with ease. There's eyes in there. 
There we go. All right, and then we're gonna go straight into our last color here, which is gonna be Null Oil. And we're just gonna put this on the parts, the silver parts that we didn't put orange on. So the teeth of the chainsword here. Right up here. Not getting it on the cream part, just on there. And then anywhere that there's black, I like to put this on. It might not seem like it does anything, but it flattens out the finish a little bit. Which is what I like to see. I like a flat finish on my miniatures, where possible. Or at least on the matte side of satin, I would say. Um, that's what I like. That looks about right, just maybe around this gemstone here. And then we're just going to do it in a couple places just to give him a little more contrast. No pun intended. So right in there, inside these little vents. Uh, oh, on this plume for sure. Right up there. Good. Um, in here on his stomach, or her stomach. Uh, I think I'll put it on these little inside armor panels here. Just for a little more oomph. Maybe on her feet. This is sort of just like a, a pick and choose now, like if you want to put it on some more things, if you want to put it on no things, then it's kind of up to you. Uh, yeah, I think that, that looks good. Oh, the back right here. And just a little bit on her hands. Alright, so now you should be seeing pictures of her all done. I put a little bit of a base on her. Nothing too fancy. Just something to make sure we don't just have a primer white base on there. But yeah, that'll do it. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Check out the other craft worlds in their own videos over on the main channel. And uh, thank you everybody for watching. Subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.